This jacket is universally agreed upon to be one of the best jackets out there. And today I'm gonna go through how I would style this beautiful piece. Remember, this is fashion. Nothing is right, nothing is wrong. How you wear something is up to your preference. Like everyone's got their own preference with how they make sauce for hot pot. Some people like a lot of garlic in it, myself included. Some people like it sweeter or more acidic or more peanut sauce. It doesn't mean that that sauce is terrible far from it. So before we get into styling all the bombers that I have, I think it's important to know how bombers went from the military to a mainstream consumer audience. So here's a little history lesson. This video is timestamped so you can go straight to the styling portion if you like, but the origins of the bomber jackets date all the way back to World War One. As aircraft bombers were commonly used and because of the open cockpit, the pilots would need something insulating so the first bomber jackets were actually made out of leather and fur, unlike the common nylon ones that you would see today. And I'll leave a really good article in the description down below if you guys really want to go more in depth with it but for the sake of a shorter video i'm going to compress it a little bit basically the b-15 bomber jacket was introduced in the 40s which looks a lot closer to what we are used to now and is meant for the really cold temperatures which you can still pick up yourself if you do live in a colder climate that's what i would suggest but the b-15 became the blueprint to the more common ma-1 bomber the ma-1 was used during the vietnam and korean war which fun fact was the only time america and china actually fought each other on the battlefield fast forward a little bit and you'll see a ton of bombers every Everywhere in American pop culture. From movies like Top Gun to fashion designers paying homage to the classic piece, aka the Raph Simmons 2001 Riot 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 campaign, which also costs 50 G's today for that bomber jacket. Fast forward again, you'll see another rise in popularity from artists and designers like Jerry Lorenzo and Kanye West, forming that classic Jerry Boy Chelsea boots, distressed zipper denim, long line scoop tees, and a bomber jacket. And the rest is history. I skipped a lot, so just be sure to check out that article if you're more interested in that. Pretty fascinating stuff. So here are some pointers when picking up a bomber jacket because there are a ton of them. This is still considered a bomber jacket. This one too, there are a ton out there. What I would recommend is getting a bomber that serves more than just being a jacket. Because of how popular these are, you'll see a lot of the same design and same materials. So I always recommend Alpha Industries for your bomber jackets like this one right here. Every one of their bomber jackets comes with this remove before flight tag. I think it really adds to the look of your outfits. It's a pop of color. And this one also comes in this battle wash colorway, which is a special dyeing treatment and it so happens to be reversible. So I get two jackets for the price of one. If you have the funds and you want a more technical dystopian design, then you cannot beat the Anfin Levy Esquita Bomber. It's got a beautiful ash color, it's weatherproof, and it comes with premium materials, and of course, comes in at a hefty price. But let's just say you're more of a casual dude, then I'd recommend the MA-1 Bomber because it's more versatile, it can go with any type of aesthetic, whether you like casual, whether you like streetwear, it reaches pretty much every spectrum of fashion. Hell, you see Hank Schrader rocking it in Breaking Bad and he pulls it off well. They look great in skinny denim and white sneakers with some Jordan 1s, with some Chelsea boots. And if you do like that more formal looks, there are also those type of bombers for you as well. But I just think the MA-1 stands the test of time. You can rock it with so many different motifs and this is where you're gonna get the most bang for your buck. And if you do pick up the MA-1, I do suggest the classic olive colorway as that's the most versatile. It's a great pop of color for your outfits, especially if there is an orange liner, but that is totally up to you. And keep in mind that most bombers are more cropped than your average jacket. I tried to wear them with more boxy tees that are hemmed a little shorter, but some tasteful layering can still be done if it's a little bit longer. I always think that bombers and a hoodie go perfect together. Just be careful when rocking an oversized one because it can make you look like if I poke you, you're gonna giggle a little bit. <laughs> There are fitted ones, relaxed ones, quilted ones, Japanese stitched, camo, sherp aligned. Just find what works best for you and your interests. You've got a lot to choose from, so there's always gonna be something for you. Now, let me show you a ton of looks and how I styled them. Here's the first outfit with the Alpha Industries bomber jackets. I'm rocking the brown side of it, and this is more of a casual look. Nothing too crazy, just enjoying how these items are cut. Easy go-to look that always works is an all black fit, white sneakers, and any color jacket. I promise you it always works and that's what this is. The hoodie is from Respect Women. It's not a fitted hoodie, but also not oversized so I won't look too puffy. And then I've got on these relaxed fitting trousers from Olive Clothing. It adds a sophisticated smart look to an otherwise battle hardened piece. It's great contrast and I've got on the white slip ons for a nice contrast against the color of the pants and topping it off with these glasses to complete that more sophisticated look. Pretty simple fits, just letting the cuts of the clothing speak for themselves. Now we are gonna flip the jackets back out to the 
battle wash side which is more of an aqua color it's got hints of blue and olive and I think it's a gray wash this is more of your traditional street fits I've got on a plain black hoodie the Nike SB FTM cargo pants with the Union ones and capping it off with this Chicago Illinois hat that I got from the Sears Tower on my road trip back to New York last year. This one specifically, I scraped against my grip tape on my board, which is pretty much like sandpaper, giving it a more worn in look. And I also burned the patch, which I enjoy how it looks right now. An underrated free technique to give an item a new look. Just be safe. I know that burning something can be kind of weird, but it actually can make something look pretty good because this hat actually has some leather patchwork and I burned that, so I wouldn't recommend doing it on straight cotton. I like this fit because it is incredible crazy loud I'm just letting the colors play off of each other rather than just showing off the sneaker all the time in black skinny denim on to the next fit for those that enjoy futuristic dystopias like myself I'll be using this bomber from rain delusion which has modular pockets and a double zipper so you can adjust how your jacket looks always recommend a jacket with a double zipper I threw on the Nike lab ACG deploy cargos with this one because the jacket is quite boxy and puffy and I feel you have to continue with that proportioning with more relaxed fitting bottoms only because the jacket is puffy though black and olive are my favorite color combinations can never go wrong with that then I have on the converse collaboration with a cold wall for the kicks and finishing off the fits with a black beanie and the orbit gear falcon duke sling bag i really like how this bag adds a nice texturing to the fits you know you got the plastic the straps the velcro and all that then you can rock this in another way say it's early spring and you know how it is cold in the morning but heats up towards the evening so rock it like this in the morning and then you can take it off and sling the jacket itself around your body whenever it gets hot super convenient and like i said more functionality than just being a jacket i can kept the shirt fitted for a contrast against a more relaxed fitting pants and I've got on a Casio watch and a cuff and that finishes off this fit. Keeping with the tech vibes, I've got on this next bomber from Lululemon and by the way, most bombers are water resistant. They don't really advertise that but just keep in mind, you can double check with uh, the sink. <laughs> so it really works well with this look. Anyways, this is the Ashta bomber if you guys were curious. I'll leave a link in the description for all the bombers I have. It's a lightweight bomber with a Prima Loft lining for extra warmth a double zipper and two snap buttons if you don't want to zip it up all the way. It gives your jacket a clean mandarin collar look that I always appreciate. Underneath is a Lululemon tank in this light gray color. Really complements the cooler tones of the bomber jacket. And then I've got on the same Nike ACG cargos, just black this time, with the Nike ACG Gore-Tex Mountain Fly sneakers. A unique silhouette I'm sure most of you guys haven't seen. It's perfect for hikes or inclement weather. And then the Uniqlo Block Tech shoulder bag. This fit is completely waterproof as well. I do a lot of walking in New York City. It's always nice to have these in case you get caught up in a storm. And the last fit was waterproof as well, if you guys were curious. And finally, let's just say you aren't into tech. Okay, well, active wear and athleisure is like a second cousin. Think of quote unquote tech wear as the derivative of athleisure and active wear. You'll always see some runners, windbreakers and all that. Tech wear, quote unquote, is the derivative of that. Throw on a golf cap, the tech fleece joggers and the Element 55s from Nike, and you got the perfect fits for working out. Underneath is the same Lululemon tank for whenever you get warmed up. So you can always take the jacket off and then you can stuff the bomber in the shoulder bag. So whenever it gets warmer and I can work out outside, this is the fit I'm rolling with. There you go. I just shared with you guys some fits. Just like others are willing to share with you their knowledge of a certain skill with the sponsor of today's video, Skillshare. Skillshare is an online learning community with thousands and thousands of classes that millions gather to learn anything they want. If you're a curious person like my Myself, I always come here to learn something new. It's 2021 and why not start off the new year right? There are a ton of classes from photography, graphic design, business, interior design, drawing, if you want to learn how to sing, no matter what you're interested in, Skillshare has you covered. I've explored a ton of classes offered here. Definitely check out Jeff Staples' Staples of Branding if you're wanting to learn about the clothing business. And Thomas Frank is great for improving your productivity. Like I said, it's a new year. Might be a good class to check out. I've been re-watching this class by Emily Henderson. I'm finally settled in New York now and the place is starting to come together pretty nicely. Remember last time I didn't have a couch? This is what my place looked like before and here it is now. Thanks for the help, Emily. Definitely check this out if you're moving or you just want to switch up the look of your current place and since you guys watch my channel the first 1000 of you guys that click the link in the description are going to get a free trial of Skillshare's premium membership and afterwards we'll equate to $10 a month on
on an annual subscription. That's way more affordable than other forms of learning and has been way more useful in the real world than my fluids and thermodynamics class I took in college. UNM, please give me my money back. So thank you guys in advance for visiting that link. It's going to help me out and you're going to learn something new. And thank you again, Skillshare, for sponsoring this video. And that is how to style bomber jackets. It's nothing crazy. This is one of my favorite jackets and I do think it's better than a normal biker leather jacket. It's more versatile, easy to style. You can get plenty of colors and is also a lot more affordable. So if you guys found this video helpful, give this video a thumbs up. Follow me on Instagram at flywithjohnnytai and subscribe.